What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we are checking out the top flops of 2016. So stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we're talking about the top flops of 2016. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, I will say this most of these products have been sent to me in the last three or four months. They're not necessarily from the beginning of 2016. And the reason for that is I've already done videos on some of these products that I would consider to be top flops, and I don't want to bring them into this video. This is all stuff you haven't seen from me yet, and I want to focus on in this particular video because they probably will not get a review unless a version 2 comes out or unless revisions are made to the current version. And there are going to be some exceptions to that, sort of, because I've actually been contacted by some of these companies explaining to me the issue and that they understand. But I still want to put it out there just in case because, you know, a company can say whatever they want, but doesn't mean it's going to be a good thing or it's ever going to come to fruition. So with that being said, let's get started. We're going to get down and dirty with all these products. I'll tell you why they're on this list in particular. And again, it's for various reasons. It could be for, the, it, it, in one case, it's extremely dangerous. In another case, it's just too far out there. And in another case, it's just kind of not matching with the brand that they've established over the years. So with that being said, let's get down and dirty. Check out each of these devices and I'll explain why they made this list right now. All right, guys, we are down and dirty with the Falcon. This is the first one list. This is by Vape Only. And I will say this, they have contacted me. They have reached out to me saying that this is a pre-production model and that a production model is in the works and they will be sending me that instead. But in the meantime, I want to focus on this just in case they never release that. And secondly, because even in the email they sent me, they never specified how dangerous this thing is. Thankfully, I know better. So we're gonna open this up and I will show you everything about this. And I will say this, everything about this actually is very unique and I like the way they went. You have these kind of pi squared post holes that are inside the actual RDA. Then you have this massive juice well right down here for wicking. Everything about it is just awesome, except for the dangerous part. And here's where they fell short significantly. There's the 510 pin. That 510 pin, yes, you are seeing that right. It is inverted in the threading which means that positive point is never going to touch and you're going to end up shorting out any of the devices you put this on. I have not tried to put it on a device because it just isn't safe. And for that reason, that is why the Falcon made this list. I am excited to see the production model, but until I see it, right now I can only classify the Falcon as dangerous. All right, so we've talked about the most dangerous. Let's move on to what I think is the poorest representation of the brand itself. And that I'm talking about the Freemax Pure Star. Anyone who's had a Freemax Pure before knows they are a great tank, they're good for flavor, they're good for vapor production, and they are an outstanding tank in general. That being said, this Star Pure just didn't feel like a Star tank. And for that reason, I just had to put it on this list. Now that being said, my father is actually a huge fan of this tank, and he loves it. Personally though, it, I think it's mainly because he never got to experience the original Star, so he doesn't really know what he's missing or what to compare it to. And in this case, I think my only issue, as you can see, the tank is missing because my dad has it. But anyways, the biggest thing about this, the top airflow was just too different for me. The overall taste of it with the ceramic coils, again, not a big fan of that as well. And for me, I think it just was just a poor representation of the brand for Freemax Star. Freemax Star is better than this, and I don't want them to be held accountable for this. And I almost would have wished they would have went with a different name. Maybe the Freemax uh, Ceramic or the Freemax something. Something to get away from that star name that is well known and well liked among the vaping community. So with that, that's what this made this list. It's not a horrible tank. It's good at that 30 watt range, but anything above that just felt burnt and tasteless. And that's why I don't like this tank. And that's why it's a big flaw for me, just because of poor brand representation. So moving on from there, we actually go from poor brand representation to a new brand that I've never heard of before that came out with something super unique. I was very excited about it. And then it let me down. And I'll show you what I mean right here. This is called the Crazy. This is probably the most unique device on the market for 2016, in my opinion. It is a mouth to lung hitter, and I have no issue with mouth to lung hitters. I like mouth to lung hitters. As you know, one of my favorite devices are the Inakin Endura series. The T22 and the T18 are still, to this day, used almost every day in my vaping collection. So, what's wrong with this one? Let's talk about this, first of all. All right, let's open this up. And I've already taken out the USB that was right here because it was a beautiful USB. They went above and beyond and gave you a great USB with this device. Something that most vape manufacturers often forget about. The USB, although it may not seem important, 
is actually a really nice touch when you see something nice and it's refreshing. They have the user manuals in here. And then you have these things. And I'll get to that in just a second. Let's talk about the unit itself and let's take a look at it. Everything's got strong magnets in it, so it's very easy to hold in place. You have this fill spout here, which is actually very easy to get, get into. You just push down and then twist. It's basically a child lock on the actual tank itself, which I like about it. Five clicks, one, two, three, oh, it's already on. All right, one, two, three, four, five, it's off. One, two, three, four, five, it's on. There's your drip tip here as well. Oh, as I take the cartridge out. So here's your drip tip. It is a standard size drip tip, which means you will be able to fit any drip tip you want in there, which again is a big plus. They didn't leave that out. So where does it fall short? Why did it make it to this video? It's pretty simple, and that's this cartridge. As you can see here, there are no coils. It is this full cartridge that you need to replace if you end up burning out a coil, burning out your cotton, anything like that, you will have to replace the entire cartridge. Now, yes, they give you two of these, but from what I can see and from what I've dove down into this enough, you cannot replace this cotton or the coils without getting a whole new cartridge. And that to me is a downside. Everything else about this I loved, but this cartridge right here is just what killed it for me. And it's unique, it's different, but I would have liked to have seen something done differently with the coils just to make it more accessible. Maybe you rebuild your coils, maybe they have a little cartridge in the cartridge just for the coils themselves. But either way, it was a flop for that reason. And I'll show you what I mean by mouth lung hit. And maybe I put that in wrong, I did. There we go, it's in. I'm gonna take a hit off this on camera, let you guys see what it looks like. And this is the perfect milk lung. And I forgot to mention, but I know I'm rambling here, but I forgot to mention it will also do a milk lung with Max VG Juice, something that very few other milk lungers can do. So here it is. I have the 8515 cinnamon cream in here, and let's take a hit. Decent vape production. That was a straight lung hit, by the way. I'm gonna do the same thing with the milk lung. Really nice milk lung hit. I like it. The only issue is, is that cartridge in there. That's what kills it for me. Everything else about this, I actually really like. Uh, it's also got a major battery as well, which is awesome. Battery life on this is great. All right, moving on from there. We've talked about the poorest representation of a brand. We've talked about the most dangerous device. Let's move on to the biggest upset. And I'll tell you why that is in just a moment. So let's bring it out first. This is the Marsteam RDTA. And I want you to see this here, okay? This is the RDTA itself. It is a beautiful RDTA, 22 millimeters. It's got great build decks. It's got great screws in here. Gold finish, very nicely done. The deck is beautiful. The drip tip is not... I don't think it, uh, no, sorry, the drip tip was standard size, so you can fit a different drip tip in there if you wanted to. But why does it fall short? Why is it the biggest upset in particular? Well, I'll show you why. Here is the build deck, all right? Build deck, nothing looks really wrong with it. You can see those really nice deep screws in there. They're basically thumb screws you can twist off yourself, no problem. You can even tighten it yourself with your thumbs or your fingers. Plus you have that really nice indent for the screwdriver itself. Great. So why, where does it fall short? Well, let's talk a little bit more about the pros first. Then you have this really nice wicking mechanism that they, or this really nice wicking method they've chosen to do, where it just goes into the sides, very easy to wick, very nice to wick, and it's just this great experience in general that you have when you're building and when you're wicking it. Everything about this feels perfect, except the fact that this build deck, which is already a little bit on the small side, gets even smaller with this cap on here. And unfortunately, this cap needs to be on there. If I try and use this metal one, it just won't fit. But if I use this plastic one, it fits nicely. Unfortunately, with the size of the thickness of this cap, it takes away from so much of your build deck, it becomes unbuildable. Now, why is that such an issue? Obviously, the biggest issue is if you're building an RDTA and you're like me, you want to be able to have nice builds in there that you've built yourself, maybe some staple Claptons, maybe some even some regular Claptons would have been fine. But with this, you just couldn't have it because there wasn't enough room in there. And you can see just how much space that whole plastic ring takes up. Now, the reason why it's the biggest upset in particular is because had it had a normal size cap, even at this size, had it had a normal size cap with normal thickness like that, it would have been my favorite RDTA of all time. It would have beat the Limitless. It would have beat the Avocado. It would have even beat my VGOT that I just purchased. It would have been the best RDTA of all time 
in my opinion, and it, and it just fell so short. They came from having the best RDTA to having, in my opinion, probably the worst RDTA because of that thick, thick plastic ring. And that plastic gets hot and it will melt too. So even if you have a smaller build in there, this plastic is not very durable. So Marsteam, if you're watching this, please take note, remake this device, but change a stupid fucking plastic thing on here because you had a chance to be great. You had a chance to be a contender with the RDTAs of the world, the Avocados, the Limitless, the V Gods even. And you fell short because of a stupid design issue that should have never left the factory. So that's why this made the list. I really was disappointed with this one in particular because I had so much high hopes for it. Everything about it felt such high quality. And it was just, they fell so short because of one mistake. But that one mistake went from making them the greatest RDTA to making them the worst. All right, so we're back at top. Those are my picks for the biggest flops of 2016 slash the last two or three months, really, that I've actually had a chance to get my hands on. I know there's other devices out there that I'm sure would make this list. And if you have one of mine that I didn't bring up today, make sure to leave it in the comments below what you think the biggest flop of 2016 is. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, YouTube, happy vaping.